Remember, they were talking about certain traditions and everything on it. Why do not your disciples follow these traditions when they get out there? But Jesus said, no, they do not have to follow those traditions. You are vainly following the traditions of men. I have come to break the traditions and start a new way of life. So what are those things that he has done? Traditions in Namparta. Not God who is preached, that she has created in her own image, but the God that is truly in his own image. And the Samari is Four things from the letter to the Colossians from chapter 2 verses 16 onward to chapter 3 verse 18 verse 16 very uh, so I am going to be quickly reading through that text and now carry it in a little bit Yedra Rathi Andhavar Kavlai Vidhidraya Kittra Krishnu Pulaka Shriya Dina Mahanga Nam Bala Vidhidraya Adi Yenna Vendri Nam Kurosaya Kittra Nam Bala Vidhidraya Kittra Nam Bala Vidhidraya Kittra Nam Bala Vidhidraya Kittra Nam Bala Vidhidraya Kittra Nam Bala He is addressing problems See, wherever people are, there are problems. People are problems, or people, some people create problems, people, some people uh, endure problems. So, if there are people, there are problems. And the people are there are problems, isn't it? You cannot avoid it. But some people create problems. I do not want to be the person who creates problems. And some people, others of them have to endure the problems. They have to endure the problems, there is no other way. Either Namanda Prachana Turiya Arari Ikwa, that is Prachana Namanda Sandhikra or Arari Ikwa. So, there are problems and people are there, and here the group of people have a Gnosticism in the world, Haritha in the world, what is Gnosticism? Secret knowledge. Rakasya Arivu. You know, Rakasya Arivu is the way. You know, Krishna Purana is a Rachima Padavan, right? Silakari is a Rakasya Arivu. It is not open knowledge for everybody. It is a secret knowledge. Only I know it. You have to come to me. It is a wrong teaching. Heresy and the Torah. You have to come to me. You have to come to me. You have to come to me. Upadesam and it's all teaching, it's a doctrine. So, Paul is dealing, the Colossia Sabaiti, and he is dealing with that problem of Gnosticism, and he is writing to the early Jewish Christians. So, Jewish people, people who are Judea Kona Yindavadal, Christo Kona Kutumayana Vandavitaraka, they have moved from the faith that they had as Jewish people and they have accepted Jesus as the Messiah so they are following the new way Kalatya Yedaka Yedaka Patele and the Kalatya Yedaka Yedaka Patele those people who moved in what they did was they went back to their old ways you foolish Galatians in the Shuruvas Buddhi Lala Galatians you know the army in 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 the army we are going back to the law of truth. So, you may not be telling the law of truth. After he talks about how a new birth takes place, or who the entity is putting Urua from you, Urua is in the children, and it's only for the bit there. After talking about how that Jesus Christ. எடுத்து <laughs> Great 
சிலுவையிலே வெற்றி சிறந்தார் எப்படி வெற்றி சிறந்தார் and in this song the powers and authorities he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross so what jesus did on the cross was namakke edhilaga eliga pattunna the kattale there was a legal sentence on our lives and what is the legal sentence that you are you i am too but jesus when he died for us on the cross with the scores and regulations that stood against us that stood opposed to it every other part he took it away by nailing it to the cross and he reigned victorious so this is what happens when you and I are born again that's what happened on the cross and through that we receive new life now we are part of the world now we are going to get into detail padinaravada vasana padinela vasanate tamile vasana padinaru padinela ஆகையால் போஜனத்தையும் மாதத்தையும் குறிக்காவது பண்டிகை நாளையும் மாதம் பிறப்பையும் நோய்வு நாட்களையும் குறிக்காவது ஒருவன் நம்மளை சுற்றுப்படுத்தாதிருப்பான் அவைகள் வரும் காரியங்களுக்கு நிலதா இருக்கிறது அவைகளின் பொருள் கிறிஸ்துவை பற்றி Then God do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink or with regard to a religious festival or new moon celebration or a Sabbath day These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Mudala of the Kariyam, that Jesus does in order to, that we can live in freedom. Freedom in Christ. Mudala of the Kariyam, in the Vendral. Legalism. Satta Vata. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Tamil Vata. Satta Vata. I'm talking about Satta Vata. சட்டவாதம் உங்களுக்கே தெரியல வார்த்தை சிரிக்கிங்க நான் பார்த்து நீங்க சாதாரணமா பேசிட்டு போயிருங்க இந்த மாதிரிலாம் போய் ரொம்ப நீங்க எடுக்கே பிடிச்சு வராது சட்டவாதம் உங்களுக்கு சட்டவாதம் தான் தெரியல கட்டளை சட்டவாதம் லீகலிசம் அது கூகுள் சொல்லிச்சுங்க உங்களுக்கு எனக்கே அது என்ன வார்த்தை கூகுள் டோல் சட்டவாதம் மீன்ஸ் லீகலிசம் அதாவது என்ன நடக்குதுன்னா இங்க டூ நாட் லெட் எனிஒன் ஜட்ஜ் பை வாட் என்ன சாப்பிட்டீங்களோ என்ன பிடிப்பீங்களோ அதை பத்தி யாரோ வந்து ஜட்ஜ் பண்ணாதபடி பார்த்துக்கோங்க டூ நாட் லெட் எனிஒன் ஜாயின் செய்யாதபடி ஆல் தி ரிகார்ட் டு எனி ரிலிஜியஸ் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் நியூ மூன் सेलिब्रेशन ஆர் சாபத் டே சோ என்ன நடக்குது என்றால் இந்த யூதே மஹூத மக்கள் வந்து லேவிய ஆதாரத்திலே பட்டுவாரா இருக்கிறது கொடுக்கப்பட்டு எதெல்லாம் சாப்பிட வேண்டும் என்று ஒரு ரூல் சொல்லுது தேர் ஆர் ரூல்ஸ் அஸ் டு வாட் தே கேன் ஈட் dietary poor dietary laws that there so in the front end we do pork ribs for it so the pork ribs are the pork ribs pork ribs ingala halavriya nu solru yen theriyuma and the rules illama ipo vandu enna aichu after jesus died on the cross all the laws need not be made the dietary laws are gone you can eat pork ribs right now people before that people could not eat one the thing was illa For all rights, he said, "Gee, all food has been cleansed and made pure. There is no unclean food. But there was food that was unclean before that. That is why now you can eat pork ribs. So if you eat a pork ribs, you can't eat it. If anybody comes to judge you, you can't eat it. This is the way you can eat it. Nobody can come and judge you. You can eat anything you want. How liberated you are. பெரியதான they they celebrated those days but now he is saying you don't have to keep those days there are no more special days every day is the day that the lord has made the only day as new covenant believers pudhiya wooden padiki pilligraga nam enna enna nam vandu we have to keep this the lord's day patrudiya naal patrudiya naal endru enna varathile oru naal கத்தருடைய பிள்ளைகளாக எல்லாரும் ஒன்று சேர்த்து அவளை துதிக்கிற வேண்டியிருக்கும் 
the Lord's day, on the Lord's day, the, the, Jesus was resurrected on the Lord's day in the Lord. Resurrection Sunday in the Lord. That is something that he selected. Now, let's think about our dear friends who are in the Middle East. They work on Sundays. For them, Sunday is a work day. You know when is the Lord's day for them? Fridays. Fridays they go to church. So we cannot uh, tell them, oh, in the Sunday church in Korea, you know? Because in that country there are certain laws because of which they cannot meet on Sundays, but they meet on Friday, like Fridays. The point here is you need to have one day in a week where you come together with all the other believers and worship God. So they will kind of say there are some special days that you have to keep and those other things, but what has happened is legalism was broken. Nyaya Pramanam in the case of the Sienna Pananda, he said, Nyaya Pramanam, I have come to, I have not come to abolish the law and the prophets, but I have come to fulfill them. And in Matthew, I have come to fulfill them. What he does is, he actually upholds the law. He says, I have not come to abolish the law and the prophets, but I have come to fulfill them. Remember what he says? You have heard it was said, it was written, do not commit adultery. And the not really, adultery commit adultery. Physically, the act alone, unless you catch the person in the physical act, you can say that the person has committed adultery, you can bring them to the uh, outside of the you can stone them to death when you catch the person in adultery. Jesus said, even now, if you even think the lustful thought in your mind, you have already committed adultery in your heart. You have already committed adultery. So what he is doing here is saying, do not be bound by the legalistic laws of this were of the traditions that you have been but now upgrade yourself so mudalata kali sattavada which is jesus has delivered us from legalism irandavada kali padinekada vasanate patamoda vasanate tamile vasanate kattukala kattukala mudai petri ilaikapattu deva valache valarikira sarira Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They are puffed up with idle notions by their unspiritual mind. They have lost connection with the head, from whom the whole body is supported and held together by its ligaments and sinews, grows as God causes it to grow. Celebrity status, celebritism. Prabhupada or what is in the term of that? Celebrity. And then what's happening here is there are some people who delighted in false humility. Tavarana, Karmayaga, Kitko, and Kanotamaga, and they said, worship of angels. They were through the night, worship under the night, under the night. And these people also go into great detail about what they have seen. Vision is not part of it. Now, how do you go on that? I'm going to be here for now. David, Moses, and I'm going to be here for now. And they have to be here for now. 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 
There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Colossians chapter 3, verse 11 says, There is no Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian or city, and slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. So, none of the time, the fourth thing that Christ delivers us from and sets us free is Inavada. Inavada. Inavada and the Vati. Angi with the Nami to Sunni, Puya with the Inavada. That has to be from racism. Maria Benita, the Lamukhoti. Racism. Racism. There is no racism. You are all one in Christ Jesus. Or to be saying in our context, there is no casteism. There is no different groups. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We are Christo Pulagana, Bhantirikya Nenpro. Now, what do you do? Christo Pulagana Nenpro. I want to talk to our kids here, the kids who are here, because they have a very open mind, a broad mind, than us who are brought up in India. Our children are different. Their thought voices are different. They do not think differently. Let me tell you, uh, let me talk to the kids and tell them, you know one of the songs that they used to uh, sing when I was growing up in Sunday school back home in India? Jesus loves the little children. I got some song. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in this sight. So my question is, I am left out there. Red the tsunami, yellow tsunami, black tsunami, white tsunami. How brown? Why? You are missing out on brown. You should have said brown. See, you guys know color. You do not see color. You are growing up in a context where all colors are the same. But you know what? We do not know how to understand. So it's a learning process for us. So Christ has set us free from racism. It's a very, very sensitive issue in this country. We know we have gone through so much of pain and death and agony because of that one issue. But you and I, you and I as a child of God, are we set free from casteism or racism? It's the same. Do we look at people differently based on their power or based on the group that we belong to? Freedom in Christ means we are free from legalism. We are free from celebrity culture. We are free from asceticism. And the third, fourth thing, we are free from racism. We do not have to differentiate anybody because we are all one in Christ Jesus. No matter what you have studied, no matter what I have studied, no matter what my status is in society, what is your status in society. Doesn't matter which car you drive, what car I drive, which house I live in, which house you live in. It doesn't matter. Wherever we are, we are all one in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ has set us free from these four things so that you can live a free and a liberated and a redeemed life. And what does this lead to? It leads to a life that is only pleasing to God. Amen.